gravitational force and what is law of universal gravitation before starting the lecture click on the subscribe button and you will get access to highly paired concepts of physics and maths for free now the first thing which you should learn is why things fall towards the earth all things fall towards the earth due to gravitational force for example when you lift up an object above the earth's surface and then release the object at a particular height the object accelerates or fall towards the center of the earth in physics we explain this situation as the object at a particular height above the earth experience downward force due to this force the object fall towards the earth center so this downward force of the earth on the object is known as a gravitational force here you may be wondering that why this downward force of the earth or gravitational force exist or what is the origin of gravitational force the answer is that no scientist in physics can explain the origin of gravitational force or any x force like magnetic force or electric force but different hypotheses and laws are there in physics in order to calculate gravitational force and gravitational field which we will discuss in this lecture now the first question is that who explained the gravitational force in physics the answer is that many scientists explained the phenomena of gravitational force but sir isaac newton is among the prominent scientists who presented his famous law of universal gravitation according to this law we can calculate gravitational force between any two masses either the two masses are living bodies or non living bodies now what is universal law of gravitation universal law of gravitation states that there will be a gravitational force between any two masses or any two bodies for example let consider that we have two bodies or two objects let the mass of this object is capital m and the mass of this object is small m let the distance between the center of these two object is r now according to newton's universal law of gravitation there is a gravitational force between these two masses or you can say that there is attractive force between these two masses let we call this attractive force or gravitational force as fg now if someone asks newton that how much gravitational force or attractive force fg exist between these two masses newton answer this question as the gravitational force fg depends upon the magnitude or size of these two masses newton states that fg is directly proportional to the product of magnitude of mass of capital m and small m let i call this equation number 1 secondly newton states that gravitational force fg is inversely proportional to the square of distance between these two masses let i call this equation number 2 now combining equation number 1 and equation number 2 we get fg is directly proportional to the product of magnitude of masses and inversely proportional to the square of distance between the center of masses now to change the sign of proportionality we need to put a constant thus fg is equal to g capital m into m divided by r square here the capital g is known as a gravitational constant and its value is equal to 6.67 and to 10 to the rise 
पावर माइनस इलेवन न्यूटन मीटर स्क्वेयर पर के जी स्क्वेयर दस दिस लॉ इज नॉन एज अ यूनिवर्सल लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन विच गिवस अस द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स बिटवीन एनी टू मासज हियर रिमेंबर दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू न्यूटन थर्ड लॉ ऑफ मोशन इफ दिस मास एम एग्जर्ट फोर्स एफ वन ऑन दिस मास एम then this mass or this object also exert force f2 on this mass or this object for example if the earth pulls on the moon the moon also pulls on the earth with the force of equal magnitude you can understand this example as if 1 kg body is present above the earth surface the earth exerts round about 10 newton force on this 1 kg object while at the same time this 1 kg object also exerts 10 newton force on the earth the mass of the earth is larger than the mass of this 1 kg object that's why the earth doesn't accelerate towards the object but the object accelerates towards the earth now at last let me teach you that how can we calculate gravitational force between any two masses or objects let consider that a boy is standing here and a girl is standing there let the mass of the boy capital m is equal to 40 kg and the mass of the girl small m is equal to 45 kg let the distance between the boy and the girl r is equal to 0.5 meter and the gravitational force between the boy and the girl is fg now in order to find the gravitational force between the boy and the girl we have to use the newton's law of universal gravitation which is fg is equal to g m into m divided by r square here capital m is the mass of the boy and the smaller m is the mass of the girl and r is the distance between the boy and the girl while we know that g is the gravitational constant and its value is equal to 6.67 into 10 to the rise power minus 11 thus we will put the values in the formula fg is equal to 6.67 and to 10 to the rise power minus 11 and to 40 and to 45 divided by 0.5 whole square hence fg is equal to 6.67 and to the power minus 11 multiplied with 1800 divided by 0.25 or we get fg is equal to 4.8 and to 10 to the rise power minus 7 newton thus the gravitational force between the girl and the boy is about 4.8 into 10 to rise power minus 7 newton which is extremely small force that's why the boy and the girl do not feel the gravitational force between them at last let me teach you one bonus point as we know that gravitational force is directly proportional to the product of masses and gravitational force is inversely proportional to the square of distance between the centers of two objects if the distance increases two times between any two masses the gravitational force decreases four times if the distance increases three times between any two masses the gravitational force decreases 9 times therefore we say that gravitational force follows inverse square law our gravitational force is an inverse square force if you have understand something new in this video our gravitational force our universal law of gravitation then like this video and subscribe our channel for more conceptual lectures thank you very much for watching this video